Akbar, Allah. Within the Islamic world, it's the first sighting of the crescent moon that marks the beginning of each month. And the faithful go looking for it, whether they're in Mecca, Istanbul, Jakarta, or Croydon. Every month, the congregations from the local mosques gather on the hills around Croydon to try and spot the new crescent moon. The crescent moon starts the month in the Islamic calendar and the tradition is that we go out and we look for the moon because the Prophet Muhammad said the month starts when you sight the moon. Now, I know what Tonight, amateur astronomer Imad Ahmed is leading the search. According to my compass, what do you think, William? Does that look kind of Along with local Iman, Suleiman Ghani. Clear, we were able to see the crescent today. But with the British weather, that's easier said than done. It's quite difficult to sight, not just because of the cloudy skies in the UK, but because the new crescent moon is really thin. Then you can easily uh, see it, um, above the glare. For many years, British Muslims have relied on word from abroad that the crescent moon has been sighted. Now, there's a growing network of local moon spotters in the UK. OK, uh, Brother Kamaruddin from uh, York Astronomical Society, we will contact you after the sunset. But for Imad, seeing the new crescent moon means much more than simply marking the start of the month. Symbolically, in Islamic culture, in poetry, and symbolically to me, the moon represents light amidst darkness. Allah Akbar. It represents something that can guide you when you can't see. And so when the waning moon disappears into the night sky, we have a few days of darkness, but the new crescent emerges again. And to me, that represents light and it represents hope. Once the sun is set and the sky darkened, all eyes turn to the horizon. Okay, mashallah. Okay, see where my hand is? Yeah. Right. Look, that, not the first cloud, the second, the third. Okay, read after me. Allahumma. Allahumma. Alayna. When Muslims do sight the crescent moon, they can recite a prayer. It's a really special prayer and you directly address the moon. And you say to the moon, O oh moon, your God and my God is Allah. And I think it's a fascinating, interesting way that we are being directed to really connect and commune with nature, specifically the moon. <laughs> 